folks, Draven here. Doing another quick first look before I start my work. Um, today we are going to be doing um, the Corpse Men. This is not what I had scheduled in. <laughs> um, I hadn't set the game downloading the one I was going to do. And I don't have time to download it on the stream it this morning. Before I need to start my actual work. Um, so it's another deck building roguelike from Multicell Games, uh, published and developed by them. Thank you very much for the game key as well, it was provided uh, recently. Uh, this came out earlier in the year, 23rd of April, still in early access. Um, it is on sale for a few days. Let's load it up, give it a whirl while I have time. Um, early access, major update. This is the new beta branch. Let's get past here. I like the artwork. Right, let me just lower this music down a tad. There. I think that's better. There. So off or on? Okay. Right, we shall leave the res, not many settings. And start a new game. Frank. No. Let's just go with Draven. The city of Summerley. video. Is he not waking up? clock on his back or something. Finally, a fully registered corpsman. Mother and father would be proud. Alright, time to head to the mess. I guess we just click on here. Any slowness is probably just down to my computer as usual. Hello, Private Draven reporting for duty. This is Dr. Mary Sue. Hello there, welcome to the Vivification Service Center. Most, but most people just call it the mess. First day on the job, Private? Yes, ma'am. Private Draven, ma'am. Don't make a ma'am sandwich and I will only bother to remember your name if you make it back from your first mission. Please follow me quickly. There are a lot of enlisted joining us today. I didn't get time to read it. Yes, ma'am. Alright, this is your living construct harvesting index. Here's where you catalogue the creature parts you've managed to harvest and bring back. And before you even ask, no, your fellow courtsmen are not things you can harvest, no matter how vile they may be. Now, if you look carefully here, you can see that the council has three creatures catalogued for you to use. This is the standard creature combination for all new corpsmen. <laughs> I 
I like the way it turns as it goes over. This area over here is where you construct your creation. Start by dragging it in the body like so, and just fill out the rest like you would your taxes. Once you're done, just confirm the parts you're using with us and register your adorable abomination once it is walking around. Alright, go for it. I will be waiting outside at my desk. So this is... Okay. So each part does different things and will develop skills as the living construct develops. How do you know what each one does? <clears throat> so like if we take So it's a bite thing. You can't see what they do. Apart from the icons. So it probably charges and does something else. I think charge might be quite good. Oh here it goes, the corn. <laughs> I didn't see that. Teeth, fang, and poison. Claw, hoof, poison. Feet. So you can mix and match. I'm just going to make it look pretty. Like that. Oh, you need two, of course. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> or you could randomize. Okay, so I better make sure the imprint on it to imprint on it some basic skill. Should I go with something more aggressive or defensive? like the cartoon style, the comic style um, artwork. Ah, I see you've all done the nice laugh. Lots of gusto in it. Yes, thank you, man. I'm all done. Just about to name him. Oh, you named it. Well, I suppose that was your prerogative. Anyway, I know you young kids have short attention spans, and time today is short, so I retrieved two creatures from the preserve for you. They've gone for a mix and match. This is experiment 626 and 627. Make sure they serve you better than they did their maker. Oh, what happened to them? Died. <laughs> Try not to get yourself killed out there. I would hate to have wasted my time on a pre-corpse. Now head over to the preserve and register your creatures with Miss Barnes. Better do as the lady said. Card type. When you first make you give life to your creatures, you will need to install, install it with four basic moves which it can perform. Three types of moves your creature can learn. Uh, we've got an attack, so it's red. A skill is green. A power is blue. Each move your creatures learns and uses will affect their personalities. The more you make them use a move, the more they will adopt that behaviour. So we've got an aggressive personality. Uh, cunning. Or a stubborn. I don't know. Sparky. Can't be changed later. Okay, so we have to pick our three cards. If I block to all, it's a work in progress artwork, I presume. Sparky gains two strength. I might go for that. 
quick reflex or toughen. So let's draw extra cards. Extra cards is always handy. And then we'll look at that. That's a lot of points so you need. Maybe we need a strike. I like the card artwork. Did we have a block? Let's go for that. And do we have to do the same to the other creatures she's given us? Olimus Barnes is private driven here to register some new living creatures. Oh my, you're as green as they come. I'm Lieutenant Bernstein. But everyone calls me Miss Barnes. And before anything else, don't call your creatures living constructs. No one calls them that. Do you call your fingers flanges? No, you call them fingers. I... Sometimes it seems to click. See, look, I'm not doing anything. And then the next time, it goes on to the next bit of text by itself. See, now let's see your little beastie. This is Sparky and these two are 626 and 627. Oh, what a sweetie. These are known to me poor things. Some people just can't handle the loss of their partners, so they just stop giving names to them entirely. Anyway, let me show you how to register your creatures and have them prepped for your expeditions. You're allotted six spots in the preserve for your creations. You can register them to your team from here. Just give them, your creature a couple of taps to register them that way. Uh, where's my one? And should your creatures become too injured to fight anymore, you can retire them. They will be used to work the wheels and farms. It will be a good life, you can rest assured. Well, let's get on with it. Can they not put apostrophes in or something? It's the second time I've noticed. <laughs> you should head over to the Major soon enough. He is a stickler for time. Okay, so this is our team. <laughs> Does it matter about where they are? Okay, so you can see their cards and you can see what um, things they have. I don't know if it matters, does it? I don't know. So is this for making new ones? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Right. Alright, so that was the preserve. Better hurry though. The Major is going to chew me out if I'm late. Where are we going? Damn paperwork, took longer than I expected. Got to hustle to dispatch now. Right, dispatch. Okay, so we've got our three creatures. No idea if they're in the right order. Probably not. Let's just embark. Private driven, you're late. It's nine on the dot, sir. Son, if you're not early, you're late, and you ain't early. Learn from the mistakes now, because right now it's free. Later on, these lessons will cost you an arm and a leg. Are you ready for your first mission, Private? Yes, sir. Alright kiddo, this is the quest board, this is where you'll grab your mission. It obviously can't do apostrophes. In the font. First you want to look at what environment your mission is going to be in. 
There are four kinds of missions, easy, standard, hard and hellish. Easy and standard are the non-city crit jobs. This means that you can retreat from them when going gets tough without much concern. The hard and hellish missions are where the monsters are stronger than normal and where you either complete the mission or die trying. Let's start you off with an easy one. Here you can see that there are different lengths of missions as well. This is what you will get from the city should you complete the mission. Now go, time's a wasting. See, sometimes it just does it by itself. Alright, here's your mission map. You can see that, that your mission traverses across different biomes, so plan your team and your route to the mission objective properly. I don't have a map. Am I going to get a map? I presume there's a map coming. Uh, put my light up a bit bigger. Ah, your first fight brings back memories. Alright, here's your first lesson. Don't die. <laughs> Use cards in your hand to defeat your enemies. Each card is separated out by creature. The left side is the top creature, the right, the bottom. Cards require impetus to play. The cost is located in the upper left. Yeah. At the start of the turn, new cards are drawn and your impetus is renewed. You can see the indicator to the right of your draw pile and impetus will show you what you will get next turn. <coughs> Gain or apply block using defensive skills. Attack momentum block. Shows incoming damage. So that's how much damage you're going to take. That's how much shield you've got. I'm not sure what the... Alright. Okay. During your turn, watch for the enemy's intent in front of their health. You may not always know exactly what they're going to do. So like he's going to hit for two poison, maybe. The spider. I like the spider. Okay, so it's Slay the Spire type layout. Uh, that looks like a boss that way. The lines are very grey. We go into the background. I think we'll go here and then a campfire. Yeah, I'm not doing an elite straight away. I like the style. Okay, so you can see who which who they're gonna hit, so that's good. Gonna take minus two, minus two. And they've got fifteen shield. So I can't remember or that's his ones, isn't it? And then top think. So we can do five. So we can, does that mean that not everybody can do a move? Why don't I just do this massive? Or is that, that's my cards then, is it? Because that's Sparky. Right, Sparky's getting ten block. I can't do it on there, can I? You've got 10 block. Right, you're gonna stomp on that one. 
So that's your cards. And then the bottom one. Deal two, draw three. Let's do a... Oh, I don't have enough for Petrus. Let's just do this then. <laughs> right, that's all the points we have. Draw three cards. I wonder if this ever goes up. Right, a wall of flesh. Who are you hitting? No, you're you're gonna be raising something. You're gonna be hitting that. So we're gonna do that. You can on there. We've got two left, so let's do this. I'll do that to you, since you're still going to hit weak. I want to know what that is, but it's not telling me. You're just going to do scratch again. We're going to have to try and get rid of one. He's going to hit somebody for four. He buffed up again. <laughs> right, why don't we do this? Why is that minus seven? Four. Okay, they're both going for you. Okay. I'd really like to stomp rather. Let's do that. <laughs> Need to get one killed at least. I wonder if you can carry it over and pet just. He needs block. He's going to get whacked a lot. See, that's Sparky Gains. Yeah, that's his. Okay. There's no point doing this draw because we don't have enough in Petrus just now. I think we're going to have to do that. So he's got some block at least. No, you still just get five, okay. Right, we'll do the freebie. Apply two weakness. I'm going to apply two weakness to you. And then block on that. For being a first fight, it's going to be very drawn out, isn't it? Um, this is because of the, how much health they've all got. Has he still got 627 whatever gain? What, what is, I don't know what the gain is. Let's try and get you down as far as possible when you've got no shield. Right, we're gonna Sparky gains two strength. And then I may as well use that up. Because it you don't get it carried over. We 
need to do that before he busts up. Look at what shield he's got. He's almost back up how much health he had to start with. With the shield. We're going to have to do that. I've uh, got two left, so you definitely need to block. It's quite a nice idea, though, making your own creatures up. Oh, he's got ten shield now, look. If I do that... Right, he's got no shield, but I can't help that. Well, he's got four. But he's going to lose f four health. We may as well use that up. Increase attack damage by a number of tokens. One for every four attacks by this monster. Okay. Right, we can. We should really do that. Because he's going to get hit for 17. I can't get past their shields. <laughs> I mean, 50 block might seem a lot, but it's not really, is it? <laughs> I guess we're going to have to do the, no, that, because I want to do this 14 damage on you before your shield goes back up. We have to get rid of one of them. We might lose this one. I'm fairly certain we're going to lose that one. Alright, let's get rid of your shield. And do no damage this time. But get eight. Do the five. Okay, we're definitely going to lose this guy. Fifteen damage. Yeah, we'll do that. I haven't used this quick reflex yet. I wonder why they keep picking on that one. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I've got no cards on my deck. Draw pile. Do I need to do... I did click on end turn. Got no cars there, so does that? This should go over, shouldn't it? This should shuffle. What happens now? I don't know. Can't do anything with these. Why are you not... Okay, nothing's actually working.
Hmm. I don't know. Not sure. It's got some nice mechanics. I like all this extra increased attack damage by the number of tokens, plus one for every four attacks. So the more you use a creature to attack with, the more their damage is going to go up by. Um, and if you use skills, the block increases. I just, I can't understand why I'm not getting to move along. It is an early access. Um, okay. I guess I just leave it there. Since it doesn't want to play more. Let me go to the menu again. There we go. Main menu. Okay. Well, well. This is the corpse man. How do I get out? There's no exit option. This is when you get the feeling it was made for um, mobile or tablet. I just hit escape. It didn't, still didn't do anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to close it down. Let me get back to um, here. Okay, so that was a very quick look at the corpseman. Um, Move out of the way. Uh, from multi cell games. Um, I shall probably come back to this in a few months and give it another look. Um, I'll keep an eye on the updates. Um, because it does show promise, and it's not getting it's getting mixed reviews. As promise, yeah. It's got some nice features that I like in the card games. So into an early access, we have got two areas, six biomes, 12 harvestable creatures, 220 cards. So they're going to have five areas, 15 biomes, 80 creatures, 400 plus cards, uncrafted story. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on that and we'll come back to it and I'll maybe do another video on it um, later on. So it's on sale just now. Um, yeah. No, I like that. I like the artwork as well. Um, I shall stop there for today. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and want to see more, um, a follow would be greatly appreciated. It uh, helps the channel out. This will be going up on YouTube as well, so if you're watching it there, a like and a subscribe helps me out greatly. So until next time, which will be tomorrow morning, um, what are we doing tomorrow? We're starting a new adventure game um, that's just been released called Growbot. Um, where are we? This one. We're going to be starting this tomorrow. Let's see how we get on with that. And Sunday, um, I am starting East 1 and 2 Chronicles Plus. So until then, take care, be safe, and I shall say bye for now.